Hello students, uh, welcome to Crack Grade B online learning platform. So today we have special guest with us, uh, Mr. Avinash Yadav. He has cracked RBI Grade B 2023 exam in his fourth attempt. He, it was his third interview. He is currently working with Ministry of Home Affairs and uh, he has completed his uh, chemical engineering from uh, IIT Kanpur. So today we will know that uh, in the past what mistakes he made and what improvement he made in his this year preparation. So we will know detailed journey. So let's see what Avinash is saying. Hey friends, uh, my name is Avinash Yadav. Uh, I am I'm born and brought up in Kanpur. I have completed my uh, senior secondary school from there. I completed my graduation as well from Kanpur. After that, uh, I got a the campus and then I, I was working in Pune for three years. I worked in the fields, I was uh, doing the farm uh, there. After, the, uh, work, after working for years there, uh, I decided for you. I, I did that, uh, I was at home during the COVID times for two and a half, three years. And uh, during that time, on, uh, on some projects in the data analytics field, but major towards uh, the UPSC preparation and uh, in 2020 uh, I, I got uh, the job through Ministry of Home Affairs uh, there uh, I'm working on on issues related to so for the uh, past uh, months I've been working there and uh, this was my this was my third interview for and the last two interviews uh, in 2019 I could not clear the mains in 2022, I could not uh, secure good marks in the interview, uh, at least that's what I thought. But in 2021, it was also the reason that uh, my mains marks were less. No matter how much uh, I had scored in uh, interviews, I would not have cleared. In 2022, uh, the interview marks were, are, uh, were a bit on the lower side. And uh, fortunately, this time I have cleared it. So, in us, uh, I, I have seen a trend also that uh, IITN. Yes, sir. Nowadays are uh, mostly the, after doing some, uh, after spending some years in the private sector yes, or in, uh, in private jobs, yes. they are targeting UPSC. So, what are the reasons behind this? this moment mind stick UPSC or RBI ki taraf jana chahiye jabki IIT se ek acha khasa package mil jata hai aapko private yes, sir the long twist of uh, the uh, IIT students and uh, bits pilani students are the best or the or the or, or nowadays we see a lot of people mm -hmm. go for the UPSC thing is is uh, i think mostly related to the the kind of work they want to do they have an inclination for the public service as well as the kind of responsibility UPSC gives you uh, the top 3 of IPS uh, foreign services and revenue services it gives you a lot of exposure at an early age it uh, the obviously the job security factor comes into play uh, which is not there in the private sector but uh, that that is a smaller consideration considering the students are from IITs and they can anyways get the placement anywhere uh, with, with uh, if they have the relevant skill and people nowadays have, have secured good packages in the computer science as well as in the information technology fields but uh, uh, the main I think the reason for them coming into the UPSC or, or in the government sector is to be in the government machinery, to be close to the to the government setup, and somewhat it it, it also stems from the fact that the uh, family have also uh, made their inclination towards that towards that field. They have supported them to pursue that kind of a career. They have also seen the examples for the kind of work the civil servants can do, mm -hmm. and uh, that has majorly impacted them. So okay, we, Avinas, uh, you told you have given three attempts. Sir. So in last year mains exam also you were having less marks. Mm. So what changes you made in your preparation this time? Sir, uh, I analyzed my marks for the last three mains, and uh, there was one thing that was common in all the all the things that I on all the marks that I saw in my mark sheets. So in all the three last three attempts, what I was seeing, I was securing uh, almost 60 to 62 marks in the third paper, that is finance and management. Mm -hmm. So and that too in the management part, I was score. I think I, uh, when I when I used to come from giving the paper and then in the evening, I when I used to uh, think what I have marked the answers, 
I used to think that uh, what what common thing I saw was in management, I was doing a bit of silly mistakes. I did not know the answers to the simple questions, which other people uh, who have cleared or who have scored good marks in mix must be knowing that. So this time I decided to uh, focus, devote a lot of time to the management and as well as the finance static part because FM paper is relatively a uh, bit inclined toward the static part as well. Uh, management is 100% uh, static. So I devoted a lot of time to that. Uh, I, I used those uh, top 100 MCQs that you had prepared for the last few minutes. So in the last three, four, four five days before from 24th of July till 30th of July, I was doing those on top 100 MCQs. Be it for ESI, be it for FM, be it for uh, English. I also read two or three essays that you had given for the English part as well. So I devoted a lot of time to the finance and management that showed up in my marks as well. I had secured 72, 73 marks in mm -hmm. this time. And a lot of credit for that goes to the management preparation. Uh, the marks uh, have increased, uh, 10 marks that have uh, increased this time are solely because I have performed uh, decently well in the management part, sir. Okay. So uh, let's start from your phase one preparation. Sir. Uh, you know the trend is nowadays increasing, means difficulty trend of the questions. Yes, sir. Difficulty level is increasing and many students this year also were not able to clear the sectional cut of reasoning and some in quants. So how did you manage any specific preparation or any specific strategy you followed for quant and reasoning or while attempting paper also any specific strategy you followed? So the, the strategy or the kind of uh, the direction that I took during uh, the solving of the paper yeah. was uh, uh, GA is straightforward, you get 25 minutes, you, you have to solve 80 questions. So you have to pick your questions. You have to pick those questions which are uh, which are easy to read, which you can read in, in under 15 or 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. If you go on reading about uh, questions which are having three options and then again in the ABCD, they, they have said that one and two are correct or one and three are correct, ABC or two are correct. You have to, at least you, you, you can skip that in the first round. If you get time at the end, you can go back again to those questions. Uh, it's an online medium, it's not like UPSC that you have to mark the bubbles and it will get take a lot of time. In, in IBPS, you just have to mark it. So I used to first do those questions which are single liners or which will take a uh, less time to read and, and solve. So that was my uh, strategy for uh, GA in, uh, and I mostly prepared from the last uh, top 100 MCQ that you used to give, mm -hmm. top uh, important uh, 100 MCQs and especially for the schemes part. So, Teams as well as our RBA circulars. So as we can see this time, uh, the focus was heavily uh, devoted towards the RBI as well as SEBI circulars. Yes. And luckily, uh, I had prepared that through through the uh, 100 MCQs. So I got a lot of them correct. So I secured decently. I, I scored 36 marks out of 80 in, in GA. And that led to uh, a clearing of my cutoff. And uh, in English, sir, uh, fortunately, uh, due to my education uh, relatively from the start has been in through through that kind of a medium. Uh, I'm 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 a bit comfortable in English. Then that has helped me in the uh, phase two as well. So in English, I just uh, relied on solving mocks. Mm -hmm. I solved mocks of uh, many coachings, and uh, in that as well, uh, I had uh, rely focusedly majorly. I was devoted towards solving the ESI uh, GA wala part as well as the ESI questions. So because uh, in GA. A lot of questions comes from the ESI thing. Mm -hmm. ESI as well as RBA circular form the major chunk of uh, GA paper. So out of 80 questions, almost you can solve 50 to 55 questions if you have prepared your ESI and RBA circular as well. So I focused on that. In uh, reasoning, uh, I, I won't say I, I'm the best guy to say that because I secured uh, in, in the last three exams as well, I had secured uh, once 18 marks and then 15 and this time I've secured 10 marks. So I was just above the cutoff of nine marks. So uh, in that as well, I had relied on solving the questions which are easy. Uh, I had uh, 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 devoted almost four to five minutes in selection of the questions. I had first decided out of 60 questions, I will decide which one are the shorter ones, which one have easy options, which I can read in under uh, two or three minutes and I can solve it. Uh, I was, uh, I, I'm not that good at puzzles, uh, but I had tried to solve one puzzles and uh, I, I almost devoted 15 minutes to that. I could not solve it. So I came back to my old time tested strategy that I'll solve the one liners questions or the questions which are two or three questions in a passage or comprehension. So I relied on that strategy. Luckily, sir, uh, the kind of background that I am from, uh, I had a good hold on the quant. So, uh, but that too uh, was a challenging part because uh, a lot of uh, my friends who are from the same uh, educational background, mm -hmm. they had also faltered in the quant section. They have scored uh, or two or three or four or five marks. 
so in that also i strategize that i'll first devote two or three for, of, 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 the, of the first uh, 25 minutes mm -hmm. in selecting the questions so uh, there were few questions in which a probability was asked or they were lengthy comprehensions so i i skip those questions i relied on quadratic uh, i relied on uh, basic uh, compound interest because these were my stronger areas mm -hmm. so i relied on this i selected 12 questions and and i completed those 12 questions and luckily i got sir 11 correct and uh, what were the sources followed for the current affair and uh, how many months current affair any candidate you will recommend who is targeting next year rbi sir uh, ideally a stu students uh, should study 8 uh, to 9 months of current affair but due to paucity of time i was working i did not have a lot of time after coming from the office i used to come a bit late from the office 8 to 9 pm so i uh, totally relied on on the pdfs that you gave and i studied uh, the last 4 to 5 months of current affairs in the last 6 months so i went back till january uh, i studied the schemes which were in news in january but uh, uh, from feb end onwards from march so for march april may june and july i studied uh, extensively the schemes mm -hmm. and uh, that too from the pdfs that you provided because uh, due to time shortage i could not refer to other sources and uh, in rbi you need to Uh, cram up and, and and you need to memorize the facts you need to uh, instead of uh, diversifying your sources i would rather suggest ki stick to one source and and keep revising it multiple times so that you know the answers because they ask very specific questions they ask specific percentages so if you are not if you are just reading two or three sources you won't remember the percentage at that time in order to remember those kind of specific figures you should stick to one source and revise as many times as you can sir also uh, i have seen a trend that uh, many students score good marks in the mock tests yeah. while attempting suppose you are mm -hmm. attempting phase 1 mocks but uh, they are not able to score in final exam yes. so anything uh, you would like to suggest for this or did you face the same thing means you were getting more marks in the mock test but in rbi scored less marks it 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 varies from a person to person a lot of people uh, in fact i would Uh, go on to say that almost uh, 60 to 70% of the people are freshers who crack the exam and there are people who attempted uh, who crack it in the fifth attempt or sixth attempt mm -hmm. i myself have taken a, 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 almost 3 or 3 and a half 4 years to crack the exam but uh, uh, what i have seen is sir uh, some people uh, even though with less preparation or uh, not as diversified as as other people they tend to score good marks on the day of examination they can hold the pressure well mm -hmm. they can uh, they can sustain it they can perform in that kind of a situation sometimes people get overwhelmed overwhelmed sometimes they get pressurized uh, due to the questions that they have not seen sometimes what they do is uh, the questions are set in such a such a way that uh, initial 10 or 12 questions are very difficult and that sets off that uh, candidate on on a wrong track and he or she starts feeling pressure sir so that that also impacts but uh, i for for countering that i would suggest sir uh, practice as many mocks as you can if you if you bleed a lot in during your practice time you'll you'll be able to win the war in the main game sir so okay. practicing a lot of mocks really helps sir okay and uh, one more thing uh, that phase 2 is only after 20 to 25 days there is a gap so did you start your preparation uh, after the notification or before the notification for this year earlier you have appeared yes. so you have a base also yes, but still you have to read yes. because this a uh, lot of news is coming like yes. you have to read pib you have to read circulars so uh, when did you start your preparation for this phase 2 sir after uh, i guess all the aspirants and candidates would ag agree with me i guess sir, you would also agree that after 2021 the regulatory bodies have changed their pattern they have changed the level of question they ask they have changed the nature of question they ask in the exam and now it is uh, so a person who is preparing for the last 3 years will have very less advantage in giving the exam next year he won't uh, the question the questions they ask will be mostly related to the current affairs and the kind of depth they ask in the question it it won't give any any decent advantage to the candidate who has been preparing for the last two years it may give advantage in cases of questions of schemes but that too have changed a lot nowadays they ask questions on the schemes that uh, the current affairs related they, they ask question related to current affairs so we have to anyway study them again the only advantage that uh, i had i won't say advantage is just that i was comfortable with the management part because i had studied it in the last uh, mm -hmm. two or three attempts it's just that i had to revise it properly this time i was scoring less marks in management so i revised it through my notes i made notes this time uh, online as well as offline 
and uh, since online you have to keep updating them so uh, esi and finance current affairs uh, questions on current affairs i prepared in the online mode and rest of the parts i prepared in the offline mode so kept uh, I, I devoted a fair amount of time for the management as well as finance static that helped me in the in, in scoring of good marks in fm for the rest of the parts sir uh, i started preparing from april sir uh, uh, when so uh, somehow uh, all the coaching institutes and uh, in the telegrams the news starts coming when the notification is going to be released so we had a fair idea that at the end of the april or in the starting mm -hmm. of the may we'll get the notification so i started my preparation i was uh, due to the kind nature of my job sir i i was uh, fairly abreast with my current affairs i used to read the uh, newspaper uh, at least uh, the main highlights and issues related to the economics and finance i used to read them and uh, when the notification came uh, i uh, started reading the pibs i started reading the summary that you used to give the monthly current affairs that you used to give and i used to mark in that key what can come what can probably come in the exam so things related to rbi things related to sebi nabard or the other regulatory bodies or things related to national interest current current affairs mm -hmm. i used to mark them and i used to separately uh, uh, store uh, save them in in a different uh, app so there is an in evernote i used to save them sir mm -hmm. so in the last minute was uh, so the prelims exam sir phase 1 exam was on 9th of uh, july so on 8th of july whole day what i did sir uh, i used i read that evernote sir mm -hmm. evernote and top 100 mcqs so i copied from that and i pasted in my evernote and i edited in that so i used so if if a current affair was of five line i used to edit that in one and a half and two lines and i used to cram that in the last in, in on 8th of july i did this whole exercise and i guess it it benefited me a lot sir almost 30 to 35 questions uh, I, I i was able to solve through this sir okay and uh, uh, one more important thing is generally students ask that uh, someone who is preparing for these regulatory bodies they should uh, Study directly from the PIB website, from the RBI circulars. So, it, it, did you follow that, and is it advisable to do that specifically for working candidate? I mean, it is. I mean, for non-working candidate. So at the end of the day, uh, RBI is not going to check whether you have studied PIB or not. At the end of the day, it's going to check whether you know the answer to the question or not. So, the answer to the question, uh, you can know it uh, if there is a simpler way, if there is a uh, more efficient way to read it. I would suggest go for it. I I had a, a huge shortage of time, but uh, uh, totally and like hundred percent relied on the material, uh, hundred MCQs or such kind of a material because I did not have time to read the PIB. What whatever time I had, I had devoted to reading the economics and finance financial news because that was related to my work as well. So that helped. But uh, I would say rather than uh, if you have time, if you have like one year or more than one year. Then you can go for the PIB because you have a lot of time and you are not mm -hmm. working. Then you have a lot of time to spare. You can go for the PIB. You can make your short notes. Then at the end of the month, when the magazine of the of of the coachings come, then you can read it through that whatever course you have taken or what if 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 you are preparing on your own as well, you can go through the monthly magazine and then you can club your current affair with the PIB and then make good notes mm -hmm. and for revision at the last time. But if you have a positive of time, if you are working, if you have uh, four five months, then uh, rather than going for the PIB because PIB is very vast, sir. There are huge number of ministries and uh, schemes can come from mm -hmm. any ministry uh, although they focus on a lot on ministry of social justice finance uh, uh, heavy industries uh, commerce and all those things but uh, the syllabus is very vast you have to read the tribal ministry as well you have to read the environment as well and everything so for that i would suggest uh, if you have a pre made uh, uh, compilation of of the pib articles the important pib articles related to the uh, rbi or regulatory thing or the finance or the current financial or economic uh, situations in the country rbi circulars and i would suggest go for that but if you have time for, for more than uh, eight or nine months then uh, if you want to read it then you can go for it because it provides you the whole compilation but in pib also sir there is an issue that if there is a news uh, which is in current uh, which is related to the current affairs in this month the backward linkage of that news may not be present in that article mm -hmm. so if you read that mm -hmm. one news and you go to the exam uh, they might ask what what will happen is they might ask uh, the questions related to uh, what what has happened in the schemes in the past a lot of time uh, as as we have seen this nabard this year's nabard paper a lot of questions they had asked is ki uh, the scheme the, uh, the scheme was in current uh, in that month and they have uh, also given that article in pib but the question they had asked is uh, when uh, those answers were given in the ministry's website when they have released that uh, ministry's document yes. schemes document the answer was given in that yes, 
so uh, then it defeats the whole purpose of, purpose of reading the pib so uh, in that in those cases although those cases are a bit less at least right now but uh, going forward i think that may increase so i would suggest for a holistic preparation i would suggest if you are reading pib if you are devoting that much time to the pib devote some time more and uh, create the backward as well as forward linkages mm -hmm. backward in the sense you should know when the scheme uh, what have been the recent development related to the scheme what have been the previous pib article related to that scheme or or uh, or the news that you are reading otherwise if uh, if, if I, i would suggest if the material that if the if the courses or the material that uh, any person is following if they are covering it holistically we can refer to that as well since i had shortage of time so i directly refer to that okay and about rb circulars sir rb circular totally relied on him sir because i did not have time and i think sir you effectively covered that well and i yeah. was really happy that a lot of question came from that sir because in the last sir few attempts i was seeing that uh they were tilting toward the rbi circular in 2021 they had asked five questions in 2022 they had asked eight to 10 questions i guess so i had a i had a hunch that they are going to increase it this time and uh, so i devoted a, a good amount of time uh, before 9th of july to rbi circulars and and luckily sir that paid off yes and uh, any practice means how did you practice for the descriptive sir descriptive sir uh i am sir uh, i keep updated with the technology i i work uh, uh, i do a bit of coding as well in my current job so i, I was fairly confident with the typing part uh, i i was i had done a lot of typing in office also i do a lot of typing so typing was not an issue for me mm. the main issue was content and as now that the marks have uh, marks have been disclosed i have scored a 6 to 2 marks in english uh, 27 28 marks in uh, esi descriptive and sir uh, 38 marks in uh, fm descriptive so uh, the 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 credit to that i would uh, i would say goes to the content that i have written uh, but i am not uh, 100% sure sir that is the case because a lot of people uh, have written a good content maybe uh, probably better than me a lot of friends have written better than me but they have scored in the range of 50 to 55 marks in english so i am not sure how the uh, how the answers have been checked um rbi says uh, ibps says it it is checked manually but uh, uh, i don't know sir how how they have been checked and uh, for the fm part sir i have prepared it the content has content has mattered in that case sir i have written uh, i have prepared the ondc question as well and luckily that came i had written good answer in that so i think sir that has helped in esi sir in the last 3 years i have scoring the same marks it it ranges in the 26 to 30 range and this time also it has happened the same although i have prepared uh, fairly well this time sir i have prepared the schemes well but uh, i don't know esi esi has a, has that fixed limit Uh, that they won't give above than 34 35 and uh, this time also i have like scored 27 marks so okay so any uh, specific thing you implemented in your answer writing because this time you scored better than last year mm -hmm. so any specific thing you mentioned in your uh, answers sir this time when i was uh, writing a few answer when i was noting uh, making my notes as well uh i would say i would give this credit to uh, the kind of work that i do because uh, it involves a, uh, a fair bit of uh, documentation of the kind of work that i do in that case sir uh, i learned one thing that uh, there should be a proper flow to your answer it should not be abrupt there should not be abrupt break in your answer if you are writing one paragraph on how the migration of women has taken place in the ruler uh, setup of the country uh there should be a proper introduction and there in the body you should write a fair bit of data to support your claim and uh, there should be a holistic or uh, and a natural flow to your answer it shouldn't uh, seem that is if you are writing about uh, uh, nrlm and then uh, suddenly you jumped on to the uh, role of women in corporate affairs it shouldn't be like that there should be a proper flow to your answers mm -hmm. i practice that sir i put in a lot of data this time in the answers i had prepared the schemes well i had prepared the current affairs uh the reports well sir so i'd put in that kind of data as well and uh, i would uh, also uh, not dilute the amount of uh, upsc preparation that has helped me sir i i picked up fair amount of data from my upsc preparation as well sir gs3 paper uh, those kinds of things have helped me sir in finance sir i, I would say uh, reading the rbi circular has really helped in uh, few of the answer in the especially in the onc ondc answer i had read uh, the rbi guidelines on uh, how the payment instruments would work uh, i wrote few points related to that i uh, wrote about the pay paytm amazon flipkart thing so those things have uh, i think sir have contributed to my marks in management sir i had uh, devoted a fair amount of time compared to the last times i had written few mocks as well mm -hmm. uh, in descriptive i have written four five questions uh, i have typed those questions 
so that increase the confidence a bit in esi sir i think uh, um, although it matters uh, how much amount of preparation you are putting but the, at the end of the day uh, there is a limit to how much uh, how high you can score in esi it's not like you're going to get 40 marks in esi mm -hmm. so you have to uh, limit the kind of uh, time that you are putting i would say uh, uh, a person who has put in a less amount of time uh, would not get a very uh, seriously low marks in esi descriptive but he will suffer really badly if he has not prepared the esi objective so i would say devote more time to the esi objective read the schemes very very carefully because now they are not just asking the numbers they are asking case studies in schemes sir if a woman is having a, a son as well as a daughter and if she is staying in a swadhar grah uh, how much longer is the daughter allowed to stay and how much longer is the boy allowed to stay so you need to have a good good understanding of the depth of the scheme so i would rather say sir for the esi Uh, preparing for the objective part would uh, would give good returns uh, although uh, descriptive would also give it but there is a limit to how much score you can uh, score in the descriptive part but in an esi objective you can you can go till 40 marks as well sir if you know because there will be few questions which uh, nobody mm -hmm. would be knowing that is how how the paper is set but uh, you can score good marks in esi sir for that okay and uh, how much your upsc preparation helped sir i won't lie but it helped a lot Uh, a lot in the sense in the ESI it helped uh, in a uh, few questions related to the GA in phase one also helped because uh, I'm a avid cricket fan sir so I knew those questions of 1983 World Cup and all these kinds of thing I knew the schemes if the if the schemes were asked in a broader dimension and not in depth I would know it uh, due to my UPSC mm -hmm. preparation sir the questions related to obviously polity would be were very easy because mm -hmm. I had, I had studied that. but uh, apart from those 10 to 15 questions i guess you you would need specific preparation related to rbi sir so uh, up upsc preparation uh, sir a lot of uh, help from upsc preparation came in handy during sir interviews because i was able to formulate my answers better during the time of interview uh, the kind of work that i do uh, required a lot of uh, what i would say specific uh, documentation and i had to say it in a way that it uh, it sounds relevant to with the kind of work that rbi does uh, there were a lot of instances where they asked me how is it related to rbi and uh, in in those scenarios sir rbi upsc preparation helped me sir mm -hmm. and uh, specifically if uh, we talk about uh, the experience yeah. with the interview board so how was it and uh, you have uh, appeared in two times yeah. so at the time of uh, interview may be feeling little bit nervous as you were given less marks also in the interview mm -hmm. so uh, what improvement you made in your interview preparation and then how was the experience before the interview means before entering the room of the board during the interview so before answering that i would i would like to say something sir uh, a lot of times i had i had felt that uh, the people who are freshers or the people who are who have just graduated or who people who have gap years or who people who are not working they have a disadvantage uh, while going into the room but i i think that is that is 100% a myth uh, a lot of uh, people i have talked to have been selected the most of the time the first question that has been asked to them is uh, what have you prepared for the interview and i guess that gives you a slight advantage in which direction you can uh, move your interview if you say that i have prepared so obviously if you are not working and you are a fresher you would have more time to prepare and then in that case you can prepare the uh, mm -hmm. the reports fsr reports annual reports trend and progress of the banking uh, and the majorly the uh, rbi functions and working pdf so if you prepare those kinds of thing in rbi website i think you have a very good chance of clearing the interview because they are they are very much interested in recruiting the fresher candidate because they have a age at their hand mm -hmm. as well as the gap year if you are able to justify the sir the gap year because a lot of people have gap year due to upsc preparation so if you are able to justify uh, your optional they ask a lot of question related to your optional what kind of uh, because that gives that gives them an idea how serious you were about your preparation they gives they they ask you whether you reached the main stage or interview stage that gives them a fair idea that you were not just uh, you are not a uh, bit lenient with your preparation you were very serious you had reached a certain you cleared certain certain stages of the exam and then you are coming to rbi one uh, aspect they also see is whether you are going to stay in rbi that at, at least that's what i feel i may be wrong here sir uh, whether you are going to stay in rbi or not so uh, if 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 they get a hint so uh, uh, many times we have seen that uh, the candidates from uh, the top colleges uh, they reject them because they feel that uh, you you would not be you would not be staying in the 
Okay. Yes, but a lot of time they select as well because uh, there is uh, there are reasons behind it because in the past many candidates from the top police have left the RBI after mm -hmm. five seven years. So I also think that that is the reason of low marks of uh, candidates who have graduated from the top colleges. Mm -hmm. And it also gives a sense of parity to the candidate who is coming from a, a, a non-famous college who has worked really hard to come to the level of the people uh, that that he is competing or he or she is competing with mm -hmm. the with the top colleges. And uh, I think uh, what RBI sees is that they, they should also have a parity with that. A person coming from a small college in Agra should have the same amount of opportunities and, and uh, to be in RBI as the guy coming from an IIT. So I guess... Uh, and, that's what the logic behind uh, selecting the candidates from other background so as well. It may be the reason of less marks in the past two years because yes, this sir. time you were having some experience yes, sir, yes, sir. and working in the Ministry of Home Affairs yes, sir, sir. and th that is also in the economics field. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And that was relevant to mm, means RBI, it, working it, for yes, it was relevant to the RBI. Yes, so that that is means that helps in your interview also this time. Yes. So what was your experience because before entering the room because. Yes, sir. Uh, to interview you have appeared and mm. scored less marks mm. then always a w any interview if you are appearing and mm. there is a little bit nervousness before yes, appearing so, so I, I would start by sir uh, disclosing my marks so this time i have got 55 marks in the interview mm -hmm. in 2021 i scored very less i, I scored 22 marks mm -hmm. and in uh, last year also i scored 31 32 marks in the interview mm -hmm. this time uh, i would give the the credit uh, for my high marks to the kind of work that i do because uh, I, my interview went for almost 22 to 25 minutes i don't remember the exact time sir but uh, uh, out of 22 to 23 minutes uh, out out of that almost 17 to 18 minutes was devoted to the kind of work that i do related to uh, the economics uh, economic problems that are prevalent in the country how how the Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Finance, and uh, Reserve Bank of India can uh, work in uh, work together to uh, to mitigate those problems. And uh, I would uh, I would start uh, by saying, sir, I was feeling a very like highly anxious because uh, uh, although it it helped me that I was having a job, but a job was not an issue because I, I I had the option of going back to the private sector if nothing would have worked. But uh, uh, working in the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, helped me. It calmed me down. And uh, after entering uh, after entering the room, the first question that I was asked that uh, why do you want to come to RBI? Uh, you are uh, you have a very good profile that you are currently working in. You are from a good college. Why why don't you go to the, the foreign and do your uh, MS or your PhD there? So uh, I had uh, prepared my answers well in that case. I had uh, I had tried to formulate my answer in a sense that how my current work experience would is related to and is highly relevant to RBI. Uh, what kind of value and uh, services that I can uh, add, add on to the RBI? So I had I had spoken that, and Chairman Sir was uh, uh, like relaxed after that answer. And uh, Deepak Sir, uh, Deepak Singhal Sir, Shri Deepak Singhal Sir, he also uh, asked uh, a, a questions on um, on core banking of core bank banking functions of the RBI. Those were a bit difficult, but uh, due to uh, the previous transcript, I had I had uh, thoroughly analyzed those previous transcripts, Sir. So uh, a lot of not a lot two or three questions uh, uh, were in the same sphere as the, as the last uh, two uh, last transcripts questions. So I had prepared them as well. But uh, I would uh, if if I had to give credit to uh, the main factor that has helped me in this year's preparation is uh, the work experience. And the rest of the questions were uh, those fairly uh, related to RBI, like uh, what was LIBOR crisis. Uh, what uh, what is the new rate that has been uh, uh, assigned in, instead of LIBOR? Uh, what are derivatives uh, bank balance sheet of RBI? What is the difference between the issue and the banking department? How their balance sheets differ? Uh, definition of bank? Uh, all these things, sir. So uh, yes, so the work experience helped. Okay. And uh, there was some uh, anything you feel the difference in the last interview this time? Any difference you felt? So the chairman, sir. Chairman sir, this time, uh, sir, uh, since Sudhir, Sudhir Srivastava sir was the chairman this time, uh, and uh, he has, uh, so before going uh, to the interview room, I had, uh, so he was chairman of the Ways and Means uh, Committee, which was formulated as 2021. So I had read, read his recommendations as well, what he has said, and in one of the answer I mentioned that as well, that uh, these were the recommendation of Ways and Means Advanced Committee, and uh, that certainly brought a smile to his face. and. Uh, 
the main difference was sir uh, the uh, the calmness and and the uh, and the comfortable nature of the interview room last year a lot of candidate they were grilled as well mm. this time also they were grilled but the, that number was fairly bit lesser uh, a lot of student this time i have read uh, on the telegram as well a lot of people after coming out of the interview room were very comfortable they 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 seemed happy they felt that inter their interview went well maybe they it went well uh, maybe it has not reflected in the mm. kind of marks they have got but uh, this time the uh, after coming of, out of the room people have felt happy in the last at least uh, with me in 2021 and 2022 that was certainly not the case sir you would know that your interview has not went well if it did not go well sir okay so uh, what will you suggest that while uh, answering your questions during the interview or while going for the interview any fresher or any any candidate who is going to appear in 2020 what precaution uh, he or she should take sir uh, sir i would suggest uh, be honest uh, be honest to the to the extent that uh, you are able to formulate your answer in a way that you are not uh, hiding or uh, misconstruing any fact but you are also not giving them uh, something which which can go against you uh, i would say that uh, a lot of time uh, nowadays it has it has become like uh, uh, because uh, due to the uh, kind of competition there is a lot of people do certain kind of courses a lot of people take certificates as well i had also done uh, i have also done that I, at least i enrolled in one of the, those courses i did not get the time to complete it so if you are doing all those things be thoroughly uh, prepared for that because they'll ask question related to it so uh, that honesty parameter comes in uh, uh, they they value that a lot integrity they value a lot mm-hmm. uh, confidence they value a lot If you have written something in your bio data you should be thorough with it you should be able to explain it in uh, if you are having gap years you should be able to explain what you have been doing with it if you are doing an upsc preparation you should you should uh, prepare uh, your optional well the last question even if it is related to philosophy the last some questions related to that if it's economics then definitely you will expect some questions if you have done masters in economics if you are doing it from ignore or somewhere else the last question related to it but uh, most important thing that i feel the interview board is looking for is integrity honesty and confidence sir if you are able to justify what you have been doing you are not just sitting idle and 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 they feel that uh, uh, if you are wasting your time then probably they it, it doesn't look good on your profile sir so i would say be honest if you have written something be thoroughly prepared with it and uh, uh, show confidence in the interview you should be uh, if even if they are grilling you you should have a uh, slight smile on your face and uh, if you are not knowing the answer just say sorry sir i don't know the answer i'll i'll look it up after going after uh, the interview i'll look it up but uh, don't bluff if you want to bluff just say sir uh, i don't know the exact answer to it uh, can i uh, i know this these 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 things about the questions can i uh, can i say that if they say yes or no you can go forward but don't bluff uh, they are they are highly esteemed panel they know everything about uh, their field and it won't look good on the profile if you if you bluff in 29 2021 i made the mistake of bluffing uh, that uh, what is the name of the us central bank and uh, it it fairly uh, it reflected poorly on my marks sir so honesty integrity and confidence is, is i would say sir they look for at least that what that's what i have observed sir so vinas uh, uh, you have appeared in upsc yes, so sir. upsc we, we, uh, till which stage you have worked? sir uh, so uh, i gave the mains also this time but uh, i could not clear sir previously also i have given main sir uh, the third mains this was so uh, if i if i uh, i i don't think the kind of work uh, would allow me to have that kind of a time but if if given a chance i would i would think later sir if I want to continue or not okay so i want to know that uh, and many of the students will be in similar stage as you are preparing for upsc and you were preparing for upsc and rbi exams repeated failures in upsc or repeated failure in rbi also three yeah. times you were not able to reach up to the final stage yeah. so how did you keep motivating yourself so the work really helped so i i i started working in 2022 so that has helped you get no, before 22 ah, so be- i want i would like to know hmm. because So your family comes in really really handy during that time because uh, okay. that is the main integral part of your support system if the family is is there with you if it's supporting you and luckily by god's grace i i had the full support of my family my father mother and especially i would like to like thank my uh, elder brother sir he 
he managed all the responsibilities uh, he managed the business for my father during that time and he uh, left it to me to prepare for all the exams uh, and that has really helped me sir so i would say the family support is is necessary as well as sir uh, if you have taken uh, a leave from your career you have taken a break from your career then it should that alone should be a motivating factor for you you should not look for uh, uh, external motivation uh, like a picture or something or a movie or although they, they might help for a temporary motivation but inside you should know that uh, you have taken a break from your career you are at the prime age of your intellect or in the 20 to 25 20 30, 30 years of age and uh, you 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 should be serious about the preparation obviously sir uh, given the competition and the number of seats and the number of people are that are that are preparing for the exam it is difficult not everybody can get selected but uh, if you uh, if if there are repeated failures and if you are improving uh, so after a, after a failure you should analyze what went wrong so after uh, first interview i realized that uh, i was not good in the interview part so in 2022 i prepared a bit of answers related to an interview but then again i faltered in the mains uh, i scored less in the finance and management so in in these ways sir you have to analyze your mistakes you have to see uh, uh, you have to see where you can improve uh, you have to continuously keep on uh, thinking uh, in what ways i can further broaden my dimension on my answers in in descriptive writing since the time they have increased uh, introduced the descriptive sir uh, one uh, one good thing in uh, in scoring at least that's what i think sir in, in scoring good marks in descriptive is to broaden your answers there should be few dimensions to your answers the political angle uh, in economics also there is, there must be two three dimensions uh, you should include the tribal people in the, in the, in the, in the uh, corporate and the companies and then you can include uh, the financing of the uh, schemes all these sections sir so these will help thirdly sir uh, you you should have some kind of a hobby to to sort of sustain yourself be it be sports or be it be talking to people be it be going out playing badminton cricket so when i was at home sir uh, fortunately sir i i like to play a lot with my niece so she was very small she was one one and a half two years so i spent a lot of time with her sir whenever i i used to feel bored of my studies uh, i used to spend time with her and then uh, i used to play cricket a lot sir I, I watched I watched a lot of cricket and football, sir. During that time, I stopped. Uh, so, but now I, I have started watching the Premier League again, sir. And that's how I used to spend the time, sir. So it's a it's a combination of two three factors, sir. Especially the support system because uh, if you are at home, the family is the most important part of, of the, you'll see them every day. You live with them. So having their support really helps. Having a hobby or someone who you can spend time with when you are down that really helps. And uh, keeping. Uh, keeping the improvement process on analyzing the mistakes that you have done in a particular exam due to which you failed uh, so all these things uh, really helped you they help you in uh, scoring well in the next next exam sir. okay one more question that at uh, this year many iitians have scored very less marks in the interview hmm. so in 2021 22 you were also awarded less marks so yes, being sir. an iitian you also think that uh, rbi board does not want IITN people in the sir, uh, selection list. Sir, more than IIT, non-IIT, uh, top colleges, bottom tier colleges, tier two, tier one colleges. I think they want people who are adding value to the kind of people they want at RBI. If you have a person who has been uh, doing well in your field, who, if you are a person who has been active, who has who has who is uh, doing some work which is relevant to RBI, they would certainly like that. But uh, if it comes to a point where they have to select two peoples and two people and one is from a lower ranked college and one for, one is from IIT, uh, it certainly uh, I think there, there comes a point where they would think uh, the person who is coming from a lower tier college uh, has put in a lot amount of uh, efforts to reach this state than a, than a person who is coming from IIT because he also uh, the person who is coming from IIT has a lot of opportunity as compared to the person who is coming from a lower tier college. So I guess there is that prevails a sense of parity which they want to which they want to factor in the final recruitment process and i guess uh, that may that may be one of the reasons that may uh, i may be wrong here sir as well but uh, i guess uh, that that may be one of the reasons sir okay and i mean ask one more question i generally ask all the selected candidates that in this uh, uh, aggressive marketing era how did you it's filter out the many platforms are available and then you went for the crack grade b 
Sir, uh, I would uh, I would say that uh, the main motive behind that was sir my shortage of time. I did not have uh, the luxury of time. I, I used to come very late from the office sometimes. I, I used to some days work on Saturdays and Sundays as well. And uh, then during that time, I had to find the content which was short clips and it covered at least 80 to 90 percent of the syllabus. Uh, no coaching or institute can cover all the syllabus because they'll ask some questions which won't be covered in any of the coaching institutes. So I picked one and uh, a lot of people have uh, have said that uh, Craig Redby covers a lot of, of things which are usually asked in the exam nowadays. Previously, you, what, what used to happen was the kind of question they asked that can be straight away picked from some coaching magazine or something like that. But nowadays, they put in a lot of focus from asking questions which are not giving anywhere. They want to they want to decrease the importance of the coaching. They want to decrease the importance of of uh, of coaching who take a hefty amount of fees and then then prepare the exam and try to uh, guess the questions. So in that case, your your MCQs helped. Your RBA circulars have helped. I I relied solely on the those in the last few days. I prepared my notes from that. I prepared short notes from that, and sir. Those really helped. So I would say, sir, instead of diversifying your sources, stick to one, but uh, practice is practice it, revise it, and uh, uh, solve as many mocks as you can. Okay. For objective parts, sir, mocks is necessary. You have to solve a lot of them, sir. Okay, and uh, social media, it distracts during your studies. Mm -hmm. Then how did you uh, means uh, restrict yourself from using social media or being getting distracted? Generally, many students uh, get distracted due to Telegram also. That sometime you will find material of any other coaching provided, uh, being provided by the users in the Telegram groups. So it also distracts that I should study this PDF as well. I should study this PDF as well. So uh, how did you keep yourself away from such things? Sir, uh... You can't totally uh, dissociate yourself from the social media nowadays. Uh, a lot of updates and a lot of material mm -hmm. is uh, get circulated on Telegram. You get a lot of uh, useful material on Telegram as well. So I would su suggest, sir, if you have uh, alt alternate phone numbers, first of all, you should not join a lot of groups. It, it anyways will increase your anxiety. You would feel that you are not reading this. You are mm -hmm. lagging out on something. You are missing out on something. It will cre create a fear of missing out. I would suggest join a, a few, few uh, groups. Uh, keep updated with the kind of things, the notification or any updates that is important to the preparation. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, avoid joining a lot of groups. Avoid Instagram. Avoid Facebook. Uh, you 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 need to uh, practice for the next four or five months. After that, you can use as much Instagram as you want. But I would uh, I would say, uh, guys, practice a lot. Uh, keep away from social media. You can uh, you have your whole life for Instagram, Facebook, talking to your friends, but you have. A certain amount of time for the notification because if you falter by 0.25 max in the interview you have to start again luckily i got through but uh, the pain of failing in the final list is is very it, it's very painful and uh, if 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 you can stay away from social media it's a very small thing it's a, that kind of sacrifice I, I would not even term as a sacrifice sacrifice is a very big word sir the kind of habit you it, it's an uh, you should dissociate yourself from the media that's uh, that is helping in your preparation and uh, I would say, sir, devote uh, wholly four to five months to your preparation. It would, it would give you good fruit, sir. Okay, so Vinas, any advice for future aspirants you would like to suggest anything? Have a plan B, sir. If uh, the kind of competition that uh, nowadays is there in the, in the jo government job sector, uh, a lot of people say put all your eggs in one basket and prepare uh, very hard for the RBA grade B. Yes, that is true, sir. But uh, we have also a lot of people, we have seen the cases where a very good person, uh, this year also a lot of people uh, talented than me who have written better answers than me probably. And uh, they have got uh, less marks in interview or they have uh, not given uh, good marks in English because a lot of people have scored very less marks in English this time. So uh, what happens is there is a, a very fierce competition in, in the government job. There are limited seats. It's, it's not to say that the people are not talented or the people who, has, who have not been selected this time are not uh, are in any way lesser than the people who have been selected. Maybe they are very much talented, but it's just that it was not their day. Those 15, 20 minutes it did not go their way. So uh, having a plan B helps if you uh, fill other exams uh, uh, application as well. Uh, if you have read the syllabus, uh, if uh, because if you are good in quant reasoning in English, you can attempt a lot of uh, other exams as well. So I would suggest go give the, those exams as well.
your confidence if you have a one job in your hand and then you are going for the rbi as well as it increases the probability of your selection because you'll have a, something to write in your bio data and, and if that profile matches with the rbi work you have a good chance of uh, securing good marks in the interview sir so keep preparing keep giving other exam but take it seriously devote your whole time to the preparation that i would suggest would would go a long way sir okay so thank you avinash thank you, uh, for joining with us and uh, this session will definitely clear many doubts of the future aspirant so i wish you good luck for your uh, new journey at rbi once again congratulations and thank you for joining thank you sir for giving this